My name is KJ Gregory. I'm a junior and rehab psych major from Baltimore, Maryland. Let me show you around our academic oval at UMES. Come on. Behind me, we have Trigg Hall. This building is named after Frank Trigg, a widely revered African-American educator who was born into slavery in Virginia and became the institution's fourth president. This is where the Department of Agriculture is housed, an academic program that can trace its roots to UMES founding in 1886. We have 1,100 acres of campus as well as a working farm on campus. Today, we have over 80 degree programs. Next on the academic oval, we have Carver Science Center, named in honor of pioneer African-American agricultural scientist and educator, George Washington Carver. This is where the Department of Natural Sciences has their offices and some classrooms. Waters Hall initially served as our post-World War II dining hall, but today serves as home as our information technology department that keeps the university's computer and internet operating. It is named after Joseph Robert Waters, who is acknowledged as one of the co-founders of our institution. We have four computer labs in this building with 150 computers in each lab. Somerset Hall is home to the University School of Pharmacy and includes 28 offices, faculty, and student research labs, and a drug information center. It is named after Somerset County, which is the county UMES is located in. It was initially built as a residence hall, but has been used for various purposes since its construction. Next to Somerset Hall is Wilson Hall. Wilson Hall has the Department of English as well as the Writing Center. The Writing Center is a free service for students where our Writing Center staff will help proofread your papers and show you in which way to improve. The next building is the Frederick Douglass Library, named for the legendary 19th century abolitionist, social reformer, orator, writer, and statesman. Mr. Douglass was born an hour north of campus. UMES is proud to be the home of the nation's only library named in his honor. The library has three floors, with group study rooms on each floor. There are also computers on each floor. The library offers students interlibrary loan system. You will have access to the libraries of the other University System of Maryland schools. The library is open till 12 a.m. during the week. That's our academic oval at UMES. My name is Anjani Clafontaine. I'm a junior special education major from Water, Maryland, and I'll be showing you the flag ball. The first thing you'll see behind me are the flags. The 16 international flags represent the different nations of people within our UMES community. Students across the world know that UMES is the place to be. J.T. Williams is named after John T. Williams, the first president of Maryland State College, as it was known in the 1947 through 1948 school year. Dr. Williams served from 1947 to 1970. The J.T. Williams building initially served as both administrative and an academic building, home to the president's office and other major administrative offices. Richard Hazel Hall is one of the academic buildings on campus. The Departments of Criminal Justice, Special Education, Rehabilitation Psychology, Rehabilitation Services, Social Sciences, History, Physician's Assistant, and Physical Therapy have their offices in this building. Also, in Hazel Hall is the Honors Program. For more info on the Honors Program, visit www.umes.edu slash honors. The Richard A. Henson Center has a fully functioning hotel with 24 rooms as well as a chef's kitchen for our students to gain hands-on experience working in the hotel industry right here on campus. In this building is our Department of Hospitality and Tourism Management and the Department of Human Ecology along with classrooms for classes of both majors to take place. Kyle Hall is another academic building on campus named after past president Thomas H. Kaya. Dr. Kaya holds the distinction of being the only native of the Eastern Shore to lead this school, as well as the longest serving leader. The building was originally the public high school for African American and black students in Somerset County before integration. And it is now the home of the Department of Business Management and Accounting. Also, professional golf management is in this building as well. The last building I'll talk about near the flag mall is the Ella Fitzgerald Performing Arts Center. The theater can seat up to 1,200 people and has held events in the university like the president's inauguration, 
a conversation with Corey Wise, honors convocation, concerts, and many more. That's our flag mall, UMES, and the buildings around it. Hello, my name is Augustus Roberts Jr. and I'm an English major with a digital media minor from District Heights, Maryland. I'll show you around some important buildings. Now behind me, you may be able to see some of the construction going on from a new pharmacy and health professions building. Now this new building will include a new space for our pharmacy program and also another space for our health and science departments, including our kinesiology research lab, our rehabilitation services home health laboratory, and also a new center for our pharmacy, physical therapy, and physician assistant program. Right next to me is the engineering and aviation science complex. In this building, we have department offices for math, computer science, engineering, and aviation science. We have flight simulators for aviation and science majors, a digital media studio, a math tutoring center, and our own Hawk radio studio. Now, if you're looking for something to eat, we also have the shore with chicken cheesesteaks that are top two and not two. This structure is outfitted with a lot of innovative, environmentally friendly design elements. It is a LEED Gold certified because of all the eco-friendly systems built into it. The elevators even produce energy when they slow down and stop. Now we also have the Mosey Gallery located in the Thomas & Briggs Arts and Technology Center. Over the years, the gallery has played home to a broad spectrum of exhibits by established and up-and-coming artists to a variety of mediums. Students and faculty alike are also afforded opportunities to show their work and talents within this building's second floor. One of our art professors is an official Star Wars artist who has a contract to do drawings for the film company. We have had exhibits with original Billy Graham sketches, who was the first Black Panther artist, as well as Natasha Busto, the illustrator of The Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur. Earlier this year, we hosted a gallery talk with Paul Sketchboard III, who is a local artist responsible for the mural on Church Street in Salisbury, Maryland, just 15 minutes away. The last area I will talk about is the Charles R. Drew Health Center, which is located on campus in the Ladder Brown Building. The Student Health Center provides health care to the student population that is convenient, affordable, and accessible. That's our EASC Gallery and Health Center here at UMES. Hello, my name is Taylor Brown. I am a first semester sophomore majoring in human ecology with a concentration in fashion merchandising, hailing from Baltimore, Maryland. Let me show you around the SSC, the SDC, and the gym. You'll see right behind me the Student Service Center, or as we call it, the SSC. Inside the SSC, we have our main dining hall, the Plateau. This is our main cafeteria on campus. It's buffet style and it provides different meals throughout the week. We also have a Chick-fil-A, Starbucks, and an Austin Grill right as soon as you walk in. Right off the rotunda, we have the rec room. Down the hall, we have the campus bookstore, Greek lounge, theater, and ballroom. We have over 70 student organizations on campus, including Greek orgs, Student Government Association, House of Legacy, and more. Next to the SSC, we have Height Athletic Center. It is named after William P. Height. He is considered the 10th president of the institution, serving us well from 1975 to 1996. Our basketball stadium with 5,000 seats, our Department of Kinesiology, indoor track, and indoor pool are located here. We have won 44 conference titles between our 14 Division I athletic teams. Large events like graduation, the homecoming concert, track meets, and basketball games all happen in the main gym. We offer student, faculty, and staff workout facilities in Tosh Gym. Right across from Tosh Gym in the Student Development Center, or SDC, we have our Office of Registrar, Student Financial Aid, Student Accounts, Counseling Services, and the Center for Access and Academic Success. This is also where the Office of Admissions and Recruitment is located. We hope you enjoyed the virtual tour of UMES. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching.
Thank you for watching. Can't wait to see you on campus soon. Can't wait to see you on campus soon. We can't wait to see you here on campus soon. As always, we hope to see you on campus soon.